On the 19th of September 2021, I headed out for a shore dive. What I came across shocked me. I wasn't quite sure how to share it, but now I am. What you're about to see is the aftermath of commercial shark fishing in New Zealand waters. Growing up in New Zealand, I was always told about commercial shark fishing all around the world. These massive vessels would target sharks, remove their fins and chuck the shark back in the water. I never realised that New Zealand itself commercially catches millions of kilograms of shark every year. In 2021 alone, there was 2.8 million kilograms of school shark caught in New Zealand waters. that I've come across like a whole lot of uh, little shark carcasses so many of them they've just been dumped here I'm not really sure what the story is but yeah check this out it's pretty sad to see As far as I could see, there were shark frames everywhere. They were dead on the bottom, surrounded by their lifeless pups. I've never seen anything like this. Well, not in real life anyway. I've seen it on TV and Sea Spiracy and all those kind of shows, but never in person and definitely not in New Zealand. Eventually I headed into shore. I looked back and the vessel was returning. It started processing more fish. So I took down the vessel's name, I got some photos, and then contacted fisheries. Fisheries confirmed to me that it is a completely legal practice. It's all reported catch, and they have permission to harvest the fish in that certain spot. It's a very wasteful process, and it's all done within 150 meters of a very public, popular swimming beach in the Coromandel. I don't know enough about it to judge whether it's right or wrong, but it's definitely a horrible sight.
So after filming all of the shark frames, I decided to go for a spearfish. I've seen a lot of big snapper hanging around the frames all day, so I decided to go for a snapper snoop. I tried to stay nice and low to the ground and snoop over the shark frames because they seem to be holding a lot of snapper. I quietly swam over the bottom, carefully looking over ledges and boulders. And I was being quite selective of what fish to shoot because we had plenty of options. As I was snooping along, I came across this ledge. I spotted three snapper, so I positioned myself up on the rock, pipped out which snapper I wanted, pushed out off the rock, and managed to secure this nice fish with a stoning shot. That'll be an awesome dinner. If you've stuck around to the end, thank you for watching. I wanted to share with you what I had seen on that day. Now these fishermen are following all of the rules and regulations, but does that make it okay? Let me know what you think.